Okay, so today's lesson is like a, a culmination of everything we've done in transformation so far. Yep, so it's like a combination of all the different matrix transformations. So if you have kind of not understood anything up to this point, hopefully this lesson will kind of summarize everything for you and you'll be on the right track now. We're doing a combination of the transformations. So, so far we've just done, you know, we've got a point, we're going to reflect it across an axis, or we've got a point, we're going to rotate it, yeah? We're going to do today, you know, we're going to reflect it, and then we're going to dilate it. So we're going to do two things, or three things, or four things. Alrighty, so first one, the only one that we add is translation. So everyone remember this one? So if we have like point P, which is X and Y, what's the translation matrix look like which we're adding to it? Could be an A and B value, where A is the positive, is the the movement of X and B is the movement of Y. So it's actually translating, it's moving somewhere. Yeah? That one's pretty easy, you just add them together. The rest of them are multiplying. So what was the one you did after translation? Different answers. Reflection. So there's, I guess, two main reflection matrices. So I'm going to use the subscript X and subscript Y. So I'm going through the answers now. So this is the reflection matrix across the X axis, hence the subscript X. Use the letter T for all of them. There's no like set way of doing this. What's the reflection across the Y? Do ones have, so negative ones are equal to one? Exactly right, nice. So I'm just going to, no, I'll, I'll do, let's do dilation in the X. So this one is moving. So there's two ways to describe this. Does anyone know how to describe if we multiply a matrix by this? And how how would you describe that in words? It dilates um, parallel to the x-axis or from the y-axis. Any questions about that wording? So be very careful when reading it. It's parallel to the X, so the X is getting bigger. It's going that way. Yeah, does that make sense? Because we're multiplying by an A factor. So the X is getting a bigger value. So it's moving that way. So it's moving away from the Y or parallel to the X. So be careful when you read the question. Okay, we also had rotation. I'm just hoping that through this process, you are kind of understanding what they all mean. Good. 
Good to see at least one of you remembered. Okay, so shall we now attempt to do them combined? Yep, you're happy to move on? So the first example I'm going to do for you, we're going to reflect across the x-axis and we're going to dilate by 4. Okay, so pay attention now. I'm going to find the combined transformation matrix. So you can just write T or you can write T little c combined transformation. So TC is always the second transformation multiplied by the first. Please take note of the order. Okay? The second multiplied by the first. So the second matrix, hands up anyone? So it's moving away from the x-axis, it's moving parallel to the y-axis, yep, and it's reflecting across the x-axis, so what's that one, someone else, I have a point, three, four, it rotates first, so the rotation matrix is And so it rotated first, and then it dilated second. It dilated away from the y-axis, so it's going parallel. So it is 6001. Okay. So the combined, remember the order I said, T2 times T1, yeah? Yeah. So cos 90, everyone. Sine 90. 0 times 1 is 0. 6 times negative 1 plus 0 is negative 6. 0 times 0. 0 times... And that's zero. So row by column, yeah? You should be comfortable with that. Um, I didn't actually read what it wants us to do. It wants us to find the image. So it wants us to find P dash. So now we do T times P to find P dash. I hope not in the test, but we'll find out. So if you think about this visually, it started off at three, three, four here. What happened to it first? So it went over here. And then it dilated all the way out here to negative 24, 3. 